Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the Benjinade and you're watching Let's Play Xenogears, the greatest JRPG of all time. So the last time we found out some pretty uh, disturbing information about the Ethos organization. It turns out that they are a front for Solaris. They are essentially the uh, resource gathering body for the, the Skyrike, as it were, may be. They've been charged with uh, basically getting raw materials, but also humans, to be transporting to the uh, the Empire in the Sky, as it were. And Billy is kind of in a state of uh, disarray, so to speak. And he's not having a good time with it. Oh, oh. Who's that? Verlene. Defiled. Oh man, this guy. This guy is no good. This guy is trying to tell Billy that what he saw and heard and experienced with his own senses was a lie, but he is the liar. Oh god, live within you? That's a terrible thought. Oh, he's getting shot. Is that Jesse? Hey Jesse, how's it going? Sorry, Jesse. We, we thought that you were doing all sorts of horrible things before, but I guess not. Guess you're okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're getting soft, Billy. Not being able to detect those stun bullets when you see them. Boom, boom, boom. Sure are. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Man, this, uh, this Solaris organization are just totally ruthless. They just, like, if they get any, any whiff that you're being defiant, they'll just go and kill you. That's crazy. Oh, boy. Blasphemy! But it's true. It's very true. Ah, oh, I see. So basically, your job is to make sure that everybody falls in line with what Solaris is saying, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> so the Pointiff was part of uh, this whole rogue organization, and Bishop Stone is not. Mm. Oh god. That's incredibly creepy. That's very Catholic churchy. Oi. Uh. Purification. Well, you know, I'd kind of be on board with that. Sort of, if the fact is you're not fighting for, like, essentially the worst organization in the universe, which is the Empire of Solaris. Hey. Yeah, there we go. I do like how this game sets up, like, art, like these kind of almost uh, epistemological arguments between people. It's pretty cool. Oh, God. oh, this is when we get really crazy. Ah, so now he's inventing the truth. Ah. God, he's so blatant about it, too. It's crazy. So insane. I mean, this is so, like, prototypical, though. I mean, as, as, as great as this game is, as far as, you know, kind of defying the, the conventions of a JRPG, I mean, this seems like very James Bondish, just, like, admitting very blatantly what your evil plans are. Yeah, this is, uh... 
I can understand why this game was actually, I think, originally sort of uh, taken taken harshly by a lot of Christian organizations in the West, because this is like an indictment on the entire uh, Abrahamic faith system. <laughs> He's like, okay, you were a sucker. You thought that there was going to be a god. Ah. <laughs> uh. I see. Basically, that's them saying, uh, Billy, we, we thought that you were smarter than this and you would have figured out that we're all a bunch of cynical assholes working for a larger organization for the case of world domination, but apparently you haven't figured that out because you're such a nice guy. Ah. Uh. Oh, jeez. I guess Verlaine's dead. There's Bishop Stone hang st hanging out over there. That bastard. <laughs> well, this guy's no good either, huh? So crazy. This is like the first really just like insane part of the game. And there's more to come, viewers. I assure you. The Grand Inquisitor. Uh huh. Wow, wow, wow. I do like how in-depth this is, though. So I guess the ethos came out came out with the whole gods, god concept on their own, huh? Yep. That's what they were doing. Hmm. Oh, man. So I guess uh, Billy's been assisting in uh, keeping the masses in in uh, in tow. Interesting. No, oh, damn it! <laughs> oh God, this is also cynical. This is also sinister, I should say. Billy is not having a good day. Billy, Billy is gonna go home and have to like just absorb all this. This is so crazy. Ah. Uh. I guess I guess truth can be whatever you want it to be. In the case of the existence of God and the existence of evil. Was something that the ethos came came up to serve their own purposes. <laughs> what is this other role? Hmm. Oh boy. Yes, I do want to know. I, the player, wants to know. I don't know if Billy does. Might not be able to take it. <laughs> That's a good question. Can Billy? Can Billy take the whole way to the truth? All right. Go right ahead. No, uh, th this is the part that gets really iffy. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesse's like, we're not going to find out what this is until later. I'm sorry. Stein. Well, I, bl I believe that Stein is just basically the German word for stone, so. Oh boy, is it going to show us some scars? Ah, uh, Josiah. I, I like that name a lot. But Jesse's a nice kind of casual thing. Sorry, viewers, I'm sipping on some water. It's a hot day out, so... Trying to keep myself hydrated. 
Oh boy. This guy is really sick, man. So crazy. Now he's getting really brutal. He's getting brutal. Uh, I don't know. Isn't isn't getting rid of the people that might unveil all your plans and disrupt the whole operation kind of a big deal? Especially since we got Jesse with us now, his arms to the teeth. Oy vey. So, viewers. Looks like we're going to have another battle on our hands. Oh, Jesus. We thought Bishop Stone was a good guy, but apparently not. So, here we got another battle with the assassins. So, yeah, we find out that Ethos is just a... Just an arm of Solaris, charged with uh, transporting raw materials, but also there's indications that uh, what Billy has essentially been doing has been to be kind of promoted as an Etone, who's somebody that would be, uh, in theory, trying to trying to basically eliminate people that might be disloyal to the organization. And then, of course, there was this other indication that the uh, the Wells also played into a role, too, and that he thought that he was just getting rid of some zombies, but maybe there's a little bit more to that. So, I mean, for, for someone like Billy, his entire universe is just collapsing on itself. <laughs> All right. Jesse's out for blood. Guess we better follow Jesse. See what's going to happen. All right, so took a took a little bit of damage there, but... Now we're going back, we're going to get some more information, it looks like. Oh, what's happening now? Some creepy stuff going on. Ooh, yay. That thing looks nasty. Looks like a very... Looks like an evil orb of some sort. Ah. A can shell. Ah. Yeah, Hugo, you know everything, don't you? <laughs> I'm not sure if he was answering uh, Jesse's question or mine. Because I feel like that's an affirmative answer to both. Yes, that's the name of the uh, the gear that guards Solaris. But yes, you also know everything. Ho, ho, ho. So it looks like we're going to have to go after it. Oh, come on, we, we took on Graf. We were able to stamp on Graf's face. We don't think we're going to be able to handle this thing with a funky name. I think we will. Wait, what's going on? Oh, shit, we got to save the Tams. Cannot let the Tams go belly up. That'd be bad stuff. All right, let's do that. Special... Special. I think we can do this. All right. Sweet. We're gonna head, have to head right over there. Uh, thank God for the Yggdrasil. We'd be so screwed without it. Now oh, what's happening? What is gonna be happening? Well. We're gonna find out in the next episode of Let's Play Xenogears. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, looks like Billy's kind of a... Uh, he's gonna have to have to have to sit down for a few days and figure all this stuff out. But uh, looks like our friend Bishop Stone, or Stein, as it is, is flying around in a really scary-looking robot. So let's try to stop him in the next episode of Let's Play Xenogears. This is the Benjaminator, and thank you guys for watching.